are no end of affordable stand mount speakers um, available today. And I've been taking quite a keen interest in Q Acoustics of late because they're making speakers that, according to other people, sound exceptionally good. And for me, they also look very nice. So I didn't hit up Q Acoustics or their PR company or their local German distributor for a pair of their 3030i. I bought a pair with my Patreon money. So what you see behind me is a pair of Q Acoustics 3030i that I own. I might actually sell them to the, the highest blind bidder on my Patreon next month. We'll see, we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, you can probably see they've got a nice curved cabinet, curved edges. And they have a six and a half inch mid base driver, one inch soft dome tweeter. The binding posts on the back are quite unusual. They're sort of flat profile. They don't protrude too much. Now I've been mainly listening to these with the Blue Sound Power Node 2i. It's the white all-in-one streaming amplifier. Class D, Hypex modules. So that's really how I got the measure of these speakers. Although initially I did have them hooked up to the name Unity Atom. I think they sound better with the Unity Atom, but I think the Blue Sound is the more likely pairing. My first thought about these speakers was that they sounded a little bit warm, a little bit rich. So they have a top end treble sound that I think is very well considered. It's not razor sharp. It's kind of incisive, but it sits back a little bit. And the cymbal shimmer that I noticed, I think it was on a Crazy Horse track, I think it was, um, was fairly evenly tempered in its presentation. It wasn't too far forward, wasn't too far back, but it was noticeable. And that's the thing about these speakers is that they don't grab your attention immediately and obviously like the Klipsch RP600M do. And the presence region here, that's the sort of upper mid-range, lower treble, um, isn't as a, I won't say as aggressive, but it isn't as keen as those Klipsch. And as a result, I think these Q acoustics would be a good fit for a broader range of amplifiers. I think with the clips you have to be very careful about which electronics you pair them with. And I think these are probably a, a better all-rounder, an easier fit, I guess. Especially at the entry level the, or the more affordable end of integrated amplifiers that can at times, because of they're built to a price point, they can at times sound a bit bright or a bit edgy. Not all of them, obviously, but some of them. And some of the, the Class D amplifiers, like this Blue Sound, are very transparent. I use this term a lot, squeegee clean. So you don't need a speaker that really overplays that. And I think the Q Acoustics mid-range clarity and body is really, really exceptional for the price point. I think it's one of their standout qualities. And they have very good imaging with a reasonably broad sweet spot, so they're not especially difficult to place. You don't have to mess around with these as much as you do other speakers. I mean, I've got them towed in a bit here. Q Acoustics supply some foam port bungs that you can stick in the ports in the back. Now that's in case you want to position the speaker close to the front wall. Let's say you've got no choice and they have to go close to the front wall. I did try that, but in my six meter by five meter room here, my couch just here, my listening position here, I didn't like the sound. It was a bit dry. It was light in, in bass and it really didn't work for me. So I put the, uh, the foam bungs in the box and put the box in the cellar. So I'm never going to use the bungs again. But I don't think this is an overly bass heavy loudspeaker. It's certainly not what the, the deep cabinet would suggest because if you, as you probably noticed, the cabinet is very deep. This is a 
You know, it's like this wide, this speaker, not like this, it's like this. They're not bass monsters, not at all, not by any stretch. Which was surprising, because I didn't expect that, because as I say, because of the cabinet depth. And these Q acoustics don't have the weight and the heft and the push of more expensive speakers like the Kef LS50. And sometimes, just sometimes, I think that low end's a little bit sluggish. But these are the compromises you have to make when you're spending 400 euros and not 1500 euros. But as I alluded to earlier, the dynamics here are pretty strong, but they're not clips in your face. So they kind of, they do sort of reach out for you, but then at the last minute, back away again. So it's a bit like a little dog that comes sort of running up to you and then just runs away because it's scared, you know? It's, it's that kind of situation. I know that's a terrible metaphor. I don't even know why I said that. So really where the clips like to drive the point home, drive the sound home, the Q acoustics don't go quite as far. They're more of an easy going speaker, and this is where I wanted to get to with these, is that I could listen to these all day and not get fatigued at all. And I can't say that about the RP600M. They're very easy going, they're very easy to listen to. They're very good at low volumes, especially in the mid range. So I'm quite happy to listen late at night, or as I do, I very often hear watching Netflix with the door open. I don't want to disturb my neighbors with having to crank it up to hear the dialogue. I don't have to with these speakers. So I would say they're a very good all-rounder and they're certainly an excellent starting point for anybody putting together um, their first hi-fi system. Now I've said I've already you know, you've been using the Blue Sound PowerNode 2i with these speakers. They're both white so it gives us that nice minimalist feel especially with my Calax unit and the Blue Sound is Calax 5 if we want it to be. And I've also got Project's T1 Phono SB turntable here. So I've got an all white system. I think it looks very minimalist. It sounds superb. So as a system, this is excellent. Like I really think visually and sonically, it's on the money. I, I think you'd have to go a long way to beat this. Well, a long way further north with your spend. Um, and I'm trying also not to just to draw attention today to the speakers, but to the system as a whole. I'm sort of leaning here so you can see the blue sound, you know. But, but yeah, so I think the blue sounds sort of crisp transparency marries very well with the Q acoustics forward but not easy going nature and the white turntable just sort of ices that cake. So yeah, a great entry level system for 350 for the turntable, I think it's 1100 for the PowerNode 2i and 400 for the speakers. So let's say 2000 euros or thereabouts. But doesn't it look good? I think it looks good. It sounds good as well. So when you're shopping for speakers at below 500 bucks, the situation can be very overwhelming. You could, you could feel completely um, overawed by the number of possibilities. And you're right, and it's very hard to audition them all. So I'm not saying that this is the best speaker at 400 euros, I can't possibly know that. But I can tell you it's absolutely a, a long way from being the worst, it's one of the best. It certainly would be top 10. But for me, the way that Q Acoustics have styled the cabinet and the, the binding posts on the back, and also the magnetic grills, they look quite nice, this smooth sort of gray, they just clip on. I, th I think this is a, a very, very good starting point. So if you find yourself at sea going, I have no idea what loudspeakers to, to even look at, start with the Q Acoustics, then have a listen to the Klipsch, then maybe go and try some of whatever Wharfdale is doing right now at this price point and then maybe something by ELAC, although the debut reference is a few extra hundred bucks I think. So those are the speakers I might look at if I were buying at this price point, but I could have bought any of those with my Patreon money, but I chose these purely because of the way they look. If you like this video, if you found it helpful at all, 
please give us a like down below. Please subscribe to this channel if you want to be notified of new videos when they drop. And as always, thank you ever so much for watching. Is my hair all right?